Happy New Year and welcome to Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show. This week we have our year in review for you. Yes, we'll be going back month by month throughout the year of 2013, looking at all the announcements and openings that happened right here in Central Florida. We've got big stuff in store for you and it's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney items. Visit their showroom right here in Orlando or online at ThemeParkConnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MouseFanTravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other Orlando area attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to our supersized extra special year in review episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Jennifer Lynn. And this week we wait, what? Well, you know, last year I went from JL to Jenny Lynn, so this year I thought I'd go ahead and go from Jenny Lynn to Jennifer Lynn. Okay, I, I think I Maybe get... JLo, we could do that. No, no, no. no. I, I might be able to get used to the Jennifer Lynn, but. Hold on, are you, are you joking? I, mean, I thought you hated that name. I do hate that name. Good. Yes, I'm joking. Jenny Lynn worked pretty well this last year, so I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with it. I'm glad. <laughs> but speaking of things that worked pretty well last year, what an amazing year we had here at the show. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We got to go out and cover so many amazing things. What was your favorite thing to cover? Clearly IAPA, hands down. Really? Oh my goodness, yes. My first that year experiencing that conference, convention, and it was tons of fun. Everything was new and exciting, except for the part where I wiped out and, you know, <laughs> fell flat Let's on my face. Let's take a look face. at that replay. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it was painful as the well. The banter between you and Patrick was perfect on that segment, too. We had too. such a good time. It was... It was I can't even say it enough. I think I'm repeating it. Such a great time. Yeah, I think mine had to be the uh, Fun Spot America segment. Just you and I running around that park, <laughs> having fun, riding the rides, getting those awesome camera angles. Thanks to thanks to Rob for setting all that up. Yes. That was great. Getting to ride the Sky Coaster for the first time. Getting that. Yes, on. I loved it when you rode the Sky Coaster and, and I stayed firmly planted on the ground. You know what my <laughs> New Year's resolution is? What? To get you to ride it this year. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, yeah. So we've had our fair share of changes this past year as that well. That is right, that's right. I mean, we've moved to this really swanky new place. Mm-hmm, so spacious. Mm -hmm. We've added several new members to our Attractions Magazine and family. And we love all of you. And we discovered that Christmas is better when we don't fight it and just start celebrating in November. Did we? Yep. Okay, well, with that being said, are you ready? For our year in review. I am so excited I just can't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. All right well let's do it. All right starting off in January Disney officially announced Magic Bands and Fast Pass Plus. Big news there. That was very I mean big. it's an evolution in, in the, your theme park going experience. I still don't have one. You still don't have one? I still don't have oh, one. I have one and it's it's fun. It really I think it really is a it's a, it's a game changer. And you know this uh, the what the last week of uh, 2013, Animal Kingdom got rid of the paper fast passes, and now everyone can do fast pass plus there. I tested it out one day, and it went smooth for me. I mean, I still have to test that out. I still have to get my band. I'm waiting for Disney to bring it out for the annual pass holders. And I, I'm hearing there might be some special colors for annual pass holders. Ooh. I'm hoping, crossing the fingers, that that's true. Also in the month of January, the French bakery at Epcot expanded. And a Pirates Adventure Treasures of the Seven Seas interactive game was announced for Adventureland at Magic Kingdom. Habit Heroes reopened at Epcot with a new storyline. I always, I liked Habit Heroes. I like the new storyline because it features, uh, uh, she's now she's on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but the lady who's the voice of Mulan is in that. It's kind of fun. I did tidbit. that one time with my, uh, my daughter Ellie and it was great fun and also um, exhausting. <laughs> I know, it's a workout. It's a workout, I like it. Now, moving on to February, Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort began accepting reservations. Cabana Bay recreates the retro feel of iconic beach resorts from the 1950s and 60s and is set to open this March. I'm looking forward to that. I love the, the feel of this resort that they're opening up. It makes me feel like I'm walking into the movie Catch Me If You Can. 
Oh, then, yeah, the, the Tom Hanks Leo DiCaprio one? Mm -hmm, I love it. I yeah. love it. <laughs> I, like, I, I just, yeah, I love the the look of it. And it's been, you know, I drive by it uh, pretty often. And it's just, Universal's fast getting yeah, that up. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been going up really fast. Mm -hmm. Well, also in the month of February, construction began on Springfield restaurants. Dapper Dan sang boy band songs as part of limited time magic. And Disney Junior live on stage added Doc McStuffins and Sophia the First. Yeah, going back to the, the, the Simpsons, I mean, that's another thing, you know, Universal. I think, I'm going to personally, in my opinion, say that 2013 was e the year for Universal. <laughs> I think they we actually said that about 2012, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That, I mean, Universal has just been, they've been on fast forward with all their construction projects. And they, they started building and got them done. And it's just, it's, it's amazing watching them work. They easily have a lot of momentum right now. And going into 2014, looks like it's going to be a big year for them mm -hmm. again. Uh-huh. Hello everyone. For this week's Hidden Mickey, let's go to Fantasyland, to the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is a great side profile Hidden Mickey. You'll find it at the beginning of the entrance queue on the outside of Mr. Sanders' big tree. There's a side profile of Mickey carved into the bark on the back of the tree. It's at the upper left corner above the lower window. So try to find this one, it's worth the effort. Now in March, big announcement, Downtown Disney was announced to become Disney Springs. Now Disney Springs will include brand new shops, restaurants, and other venues for guests to explore. And really Disney Springs is made up of, of um, four different neighborhoods. Um, the first one that we'll talk about is Town Center. Town Center is where most of the retail will take place. Um, more of a, a Spanish revival um, architecture, just to pull it apart from the other pieces. Up on the water itself is the landing area, and this is where we'll have world-class dining, really taking advantage of the view of the waterfront. You'll be dining out on the waterfront in these wonderful buildings, and all of these buildings, even though we've got different architecture and different architectural periods are really meant to be warm and nostalgic and, and just immerse you into the storytelling of this entire space. Um, our next neighborhood is the marketplace. This will continue to be our family friendly retail and dining location that you're I think pretty familiar with. The one big change here is that it will be connected to the rest of the development with the causeway. That will help with guest flow, but again, it puts you out on the water and you'll be able to really have just this beautiful, wonderful surroundings. And of course, there's the west side. And the west side, Disney's west side, is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, industrial buildings with elevated um, train trestle that you'll be able to sit on top for a lounge area. And it's an outrageous mess right now because of that. <laughs> oh, the parking situation right now is just it's a nightmare. horrific. I'll be so glad. I wish. I wish that they would get their construction up quickly. Right? I mean, <laughs> no offense, Disney, but it's a parking garage. How, how hard can it be to build a parking garage? I don't know. I'm so anxious for that part <laughs> to be done. I know. Now, also in March, New Tangled, the rest area, opened up in Fantasyland in Walt Disney World. Well, it's beautiful restrooms, too. Yes. It's such a nice area. You know what I love about it the most What's is that? it's got that charging yes. station. That has been so desperately needed. Especially in with that all park. this My Disney experience, people always using their phones now. You definitely need those to charge your phone. Much needed. And they're addition. starting to go out throughout all the parks now, so mm -hmm. it's good. And Disney World switched over to the hard plastic RFID annual passes. I do have one of those. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I like them a lot better than paper because paper, you know, you have to replace them so much because they get bent or wet and. I just, I prefer plastic annual passes. And it's definitely been an improvement, especially with the turnstiles. You just get into those parks so much more quickly than you mm -hmm. did before. Universal, where your plastic annual passes. I mean, I'm waiting for that. Okay, well, in the month of April, a new daytime parade was announced for the Magic Kingdom. The Festival of Fantasy Parade will actually begin sometime this spring in 2014. The current parade has its last run this upcoming Saturday. This new parade replaces Celebrate a Dream Come True and continues our tradition of bringing new, iconic entertainment into our parks to surprise and delight first-time guests and returning guests alike. The parade features new music, new costumes, new floats, and classic and contemporary Fantasyland characters. Thank you, Disney. <laughs> I have been wanting a New Day parade for years and years and years. This, 
I'm yeah. getting tired of these dream come true parades. On the, <laughs> the yeah. dream come true Share a dream come true parade. Disney dreams come true parade. Celebrate a dream come true. I want new, something new. So now finally we're moving we get into it. fantasy. Woohoo! New floats, too. We're not just going <laughs> to recycle them. We're getting brand new floats. That's what I'm very excited about. Yeah, it's going to be great. Also in April, Nick Hotel debuted a new SpongeBob SquarePants 4D movie and Bikini Bottom character Breakfast. A new entryway, retail shop, and other enhancements opened up at the Kennedy Space Center. And King's Bowling and Dining opened on International Drive. And that's my favorite bowling venue. Over Splitsville? It's tough. I, I love Splitsville so much, but I just... Me too. I, just the, the fact that King's Bowling, the whole place turns 21 and up at 6 o'clock instead of just one section, that, that's what really gets it for me because it just it, it's a fun atmosphere. Used to go there after, after work at Ripley's at midnight and just go and hang out. I still have to make it out to King's, so I can't make a fair you know pick, but I have to say, I love Splitsville. Yeah, they're both really great places to go and check out. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation. And the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. In the month of May, we saw Universal release details on the all-new Harry Potter expansion. The expansion, slated to finish this coming summer, will include Diagon Alley, Gringotts Bank, a London facade, and the Hogwarts Express, linking Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Big news. I mean, we all knew this, was, this expansion was coming, but he's finally announcing it. And going between parks that's that's the first for any theme park that's awesome it is it's going to be a big stinking deal so like i said before universal is keeping the momentum that it's taking from 2013 and going full speed into 2014. and you can guarantee we're going to be there for the opening we'll have a, a whole awesome segment i'm sure of it also antarctica empire of the penguin officially opened at SeaWorld. so on behalf of SeaWorld, we proudly claim this frozen realm as our Are you ready? Yeah. Sea World's Antarctica is now That's a really fun little area. It was, and the penguins are so cute. They are adorable. Merida officially became the 11th Disney princess. Magic Kingdom was open for 24 hours as part of their monstrous summer event, and that was That was an event, definitely. <laughs> and Fun Spot opened two new roller coasters. Not only that, but they had a whole expansion that opened up, and like I said, that was my favorite segment. It of definitely it. was a favorite of mine. Remember, well. remember this little moment here? How could I forget? Yeah. That was a wild ride. Would you say that ride is lightning fast? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> In June, Transformers the Ride officially opened at Universal Studios Florida. Transformers takes guests on another wild ride as they help the Autobots keep the AllSpark safe from the Decepticons. And oh. I got to learn a little bit about what that meant. Yeah, because you never really, didn't really know a lot about Transformers before you wrote that, I didn't that, know right? anything about Transformers <laughs> at all, but now I'm, 
I've got some basics down. Because the ride is so stinking awesome. It is. It is my favorite ride at Universal, yeah. officially. And being on the red carpet and, and talking to the voice of Optimus Prime and Megatron and seeing Steven Spielberg. Okay. I do have to say this right now. Yes. Those characters that they bring into the park are some of the best characters the I have yes. seen in any park. Yes. It's agreed. really a fantastic, and fantastic character. A little preview. Sometime this year they're going to start talking to guests and <laughs> really interacting with them. We don't know when. They've been testing it off and on, but sometime this year it's going to start. We'll be anxiously awaiting mm -hmm. that. Well, also in June, Falcon's Fury was announced for Busch Gardens. And phase one of the Springfield expansion at Universal opened, which included Krusty Burger, Moe's Tavern, and Moe. And I love the, uh, the Flaming Moe. Yes, it was very good. And the Krusty Burger wasn't so crusty after all. It's, it's a good. It's it was interesting. The Clogger Burger. Mm. Uh -uh. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. The Wilderness Explorers game opened up at Animal Kingdom that same month. Mm -hmm. And the Space Shuttle Atlantis exhibit opened at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. I, I still have yet to go see that in person. I, I get out there a lot for stuff, but I just haven't had the time to go and see the exhibit in person. I've it's, heard it's breathtaking. It is. It's a moving experience. Mm -hmm. You definitely have to get out there. Yeah. Are you heading to Orlando? Don't pay full price for your theme park admission tickets. Undercover Tourist ships the exact same tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Add on your car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park along with other insider tips and planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com and buy your tickets today. In the month of July, Legoland opened the World of Chima. The area includes a water battle ride, a kids play area, and characters from the TV show. That is a fun little area for kids and for families. I remember I got to take my son. We had a fabulous time. I know. It was so funny because I was trying, I, I had the camera and I was trying to get shots of, of your son shooting water back at the people on the boat. But then the kids on the boat saw me with the camera and they were going, get the one with the camera, get the one with the camera. And I'm like, ah, I gotta hide. There is no escaping the water in that area. <laughs> oh, no, no. Now, also in July, Disney officially announced the retirement of the Spectro Magic Parade. <laughs> <sighs> the Spectro Magic always held a special place in my heart because it was the first parade I ever saw. We need to take a moment to just grieve and mourn mm. the passing of this very wonderful, beautiful, whimsical, emotional parade. Let me tell you something that um, Disney's doing to honor Spectro Magic this year, in 2014. Disney has a, a pin of the month series called A Piece of Disney History. Now, usually it's a different ride each month. But for this year, each month is going to be a different float from Spectro Magic. So there are going to be 12 pieces of Dis uh, Spectro Magic floats you can get each month this year. Well, I'm glad to hear that if they have to take it away from us, at least we're paying proper tribute exactly. to it. It was exactly. a wonderful, wonderful piece of Disney. My favorite parade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now Disney also announced that the Festival of the Lion King will be moving in 2014 to make room for Avatar Land. This was something I was very worried about because it was always rumored that Avatar was going to go, Camp Mini Mickey is, and I've always worried that the festival has been around since Animal Kingdom opened in 1998, that they may be like, oh, okay, it's done, we can just get rid of it. No. Oh, thank goodness, they're just moving it. I mean, There are some things at Disney that need to be done, but the Festival of the Lion King is not one of them. Stitch's Great Escape is one. Um, <laughs> Agreed. But no, it, it makes more sense for Festival of Lion to be in Africa anyway. It does. And so this is, I think, this is a great move. And I heard the rumors I'm hearing is that there may be a little, little additions to the show too. So Ooh, looking forward to that. We'll then. see what happens. Well, in the month of August, Universal completed its Springfield expansion. Yes, the final section of Springfield included Kang and Kodo's Troll and Hurl ride. I love Springfield. I, I love this whole area. It's very nicely themed. Even if you're not a fan of Simpsons, you can really enjoy it. That's the truth because I actually don't watch the Simpsons very much at all and I enjoy that area it's it struck me as um, amazing actually that you can go in and you do feel like you are walking amongst a cartoon environment right? I'm not sure how they achieved that but you feel it's, like you it, are in a cartoon it feels, I think it's, it's the colors the colors are so bright and vibrant and you know. it's not just the colors though it's also the look like when you go into Moe's Tavern you look like you're actually in most tavern as an animated mm -hmm. um, cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> now also in August, Peabody Hotel retired the ducks as they became the Hyatt Regency. Now this is a, a big tradition that, that, that just ended. So I've heard. 
so bizarre. I never, I never got to go see it in person. I was so sad. I never saw the little ducks either. I saw a video of them. They're pretty, pretty cute, and I'm sad that they left, but, you know. You know, things move on. That's right, exactly. Mm. Now, in September, Disney opened the Princess Fairy Tale Hall in Fantasyland at the Magic Kingdom. The Princess Fairy Tale Hall allows guests the option of meeting either Cinderella or Rapunzel, along with one other randomly selected princess. I, it's, it's, it's a nice meet and greet. I mean, unfortunately, it had to take up the space where Snow White's Scary Adventure once stood. I'm a little bitter about it. Yeah, I mean, and it was another one of those things where, you know, we talk about you know, construction. It took a long time to build just a meet and greet. It did. That was, that was interesting. But I think the part that I was most disappointed about, it's a great, it's a it, great it's a, Yeah, hall. it's a beautiful as far, area. As far as meet and greet areas go, it's very well done. I just wish we could have replaced a dark ride with a dark ride. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. But, well, I mean, we're getting the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, so we're still getting some sort of Snow White ride this year. It's just not a, it's kind of a mix between a dark ride and a coaster. But, agreed. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, also, Disney replaced guest assistance cars with disability access service cards. And Downtown Disney debuted four new food trucks. Which are delicious. <laughs> and a special Unleash the Villains event was held at Hollywood Studios. And this was, I think this was the biggest hit it for was. Limited Time Magic last year. It, it definitely was. I, I would be surprised if they do not repeat it again because the <laughs> reaction to it was so popular. Well, we were at Not So Scary filming our segment during that night. And I was just on Twitter and just seeing the status updates of people waiting two hours just to park at studios, then having to be turned around to go to Epcot and then couldn't even get into the park. And just like, I, I couldn't do it because I get kind of claustrophobic in crowds. Well, you have to admit the concept was definitely original it's, it's a great good, concept i loved it yeah everyone responded really well to it i'm assuming that they would find some way to bring it back and do it again I'm maybe improve it to accommodate for the crowds maybe maybe bring it back as a you know a hard ticket event for studios during halloween for a more grown-up crowd where you know not so scary for the kids and you have unleashed the villains for the teens and adults look at this one mm. using his thinker over here <laughs> i really do Located just minutes from Orlando International Airport, Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their brand new warehouse in Orlando or find them online at themeparkconnection.com. In the month of October, Disney showed off new concept art for Avatar and announced new nighttime experiences at the Animal Kingdom. Yes, the nighttime experiences will include an all-new parade and show on and above Discovery River and a new nighttime Kilimanjaro Safari. The new Avatar area is set to open in 2017. Finally seeing at least some sort of progress with Avatar. In three years? I, it, it, <laughs> September 2011 is when they first announced it and then October 2013 is when they finally showed some real concept art. And 2017 is when we're going to actually see the, the thing. It's a long, long time, <laughs> but I mean, from the, from the concept art, it looks gorgeous. It looks it like does. It's be a great area, Hopefully so I'm excited to be able to, to walk around. it will live up to expectations. Mm -hmm. Now, also in that month, Talking Magician Mickey began meeting guests at the Magic Kingdom. And that's a fun experience. Have you had a chance to meet no, Mickey yet? No, I've seen it. I've heard about it. My sister went with her kids, told me all about it. Everyone loves it. I haven't done it yet. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. I'm making a new poster for my magic show. Really? And I can't decide how I should pose for it. Hmm. Should I do the wizard? That looks the good. The mind reader. <laughs> or the master magician. You got, what do you think? I think you got to do the master magician because that's what you are. Right. <laughs> Just know sometimes he may be saving his voice for a show or parade, so you're not guaranteed to to be able to talk to them every time, but when you do, it's pretty awesome. Mickey, I'll, when I come, you better find your voice. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Club Cool at Epcot debuted new flavors, much to the mm, disappointment of me getting of them getting rid of my favorite. Don't worry, they still have Beverly. The Glow with the Show debuted at the 15th anniversary of Fantasmic. And the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa opened. And that was a beautiful resort, wasn't it? They stole my heart. <laughs> you wanted to move into that giant suite. I still am ready to move into that suite. Hello. Save up those points. That has Jenny Wynn written all over it. <laughs> you got that? <laughs> now, in the month of November, Busch Gardens announced a new land, Pantopia. The new land is replacing Timbuktu, and it's going to be the home for the new Falcon's Fury drop ride this spring. Oh, boy, am I looking forward to Falcon's Fury. Cute. Yep. Facing straight down, going 330 feet, I believe. 
something like the that. The tallest drop ride of its kind. And I will be on it. Also happening that month, Legoland announced plans for a new hotel. Theme Park Connection moved to a new, bigger showroom. Here we are. And the world's tallest roller coaster was announced as coming to the Central Florida area. Interesting. We got the tallest drop ride of its kind. Now we got the tallest coaster. What can I say? We're the place to be. Anna and Elsa from Disney's Frozen started meeting guests in Norway at Epcot. And they are very popular. That line is always really long to go meet them. Well, it was a hit movie. It was. It was a very good movie. I think it was, a, like I just read, it was a, the most successful Disney film since The Lion King. And ending it all in the month of December, eight new restaurant venues were announced for CityWalk. The wide variety of restaurants include Mexican, Italian, ice cream, and a sushi and burger fusion called the Cowfish, and they have a burgushi. I Remember love how the this word now has hand motions that That's go That's what the owner it. said, burgushi. Burgushi. Mm-hmm. It's going to be delicious. Okay. And to top it off, in between the two, is it sushi? Is it burger? No, it's burgushi. A true <laughs> fusion of sushi and burger. More to come on that. He does this all the time. It's an international sign of burgushi. Now, unfortunately, at the end of December, Arabian Nights closed after 25 years in Kissimmee. And, I mean, that's another Orlando staple closing down last year. No, it was a bit of a shame. It just seems like an Orlando tradition that died. Yeah, I, I saw it for the first time last year, and now it's too late. I can't go back and see it again. But if you haven't seen it, we did get to record the entire Christmas edition of Arabian Nights, and that will be up on our YouTube sometime very soon. So keep an eye on that. Well, you know what, other, what else has been around for a while in Orlando? Ooh, I know what you're talking about. La Nuba. Yes. And it celebrated its 15 years at Downtown Disney just this past month. And you and I went to see it for the first time at the 15th anniversary show. It was. It was my wow. first time getting there, and I can promise you I will be there every year from now on. I loved it. It's my new favorite thing at Disney. Nice. And I, it's hard to to grasp the idea that my favorite thing at Disney is actually in downtown Disney, but nevertheless, <laughs> there you have it. There you go. Now, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel as well. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea, for a free quote without obligation. Visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade theme park items. Visit the showroom here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. We're also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando's attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. And remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each and every week on YouTube iTunes, and our brand new channel on Bright House Cable, channel 999. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also, don't forget attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. And, of course, the magazine itself. It's available in print on the Nook and in our new updated app. Our winter issue is available now. Inside, you'll find great stories on the new Simpsons area at Universal, Disney Infinity, the Disney Magic Cruise Ship, and much, much more. So, there we have it. 2013, all over again. It seemed so much shorter this time. Well, looking back, it definitely was an exciting year. Yeah, yeah. It was a year of big announcements. Which means we have a lot to look forward to this coming year. I mean, you got the Harry Potter expansion, Falcon's Fury, the Orlando Eye Ferris Wheel, new dining at CityWalk, and who knows what else is going to be announced. Exactly, and that's the best part. Every year we're surprised by all the new announcements and all new twists on old events. It's never a dull moment, and you better believe we'll be covering it. Yes, and hey, you never know what new changes are going to be coming to our show. Either a little birdie told me we might be getting a scenic makeover. Ooh, I guess you guys will just have to stick it out with us and see for yourselves. Yes, we'd like to thank each and every one of you for being a part of 2013 with us, and we sincerely hope you'll join us for 2014. Hey, Banks, can yes. I do the outro? It's a new year, so why not? Go for it. Awesome. So until next time, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never run on a Entryway, 
In the month of October, Disney showed off a uh, in November, Bush Gardens announced a new land, Pantopia. Whoa. The new land. Well, is, are you just now hearing this for the first time? I do not remember this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been on every show. You know. I know. I think I must have been asleep for half of them. Con lo terrorista. Oh no, yeah. not, not the-